A surprising new finding on Mars has piqued the interest of NASA scientists in charge of the Perseverance rover mission. And just what did they discover on the big red planet? Extraterrestrial life such as aliens? Or evidence of lost ancient Martian civilizations from fiction? Could there just be evidence of monuments? Possibly from sentient beings who once inherited Mars, possibly way before human civilization began. This discovery made by NASA scientists is sure to rock your world. If this is the first time visiting our channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to guarantee you don't miss out on any of the other fantastic material we have in store. So without further ado, let's get started on the amazing discoveries on the red planet. New 3D climate models of Mars's ancient atmosphere and water show that a liquid ocean previously existed in the planet's northern lowland region. According to the peer-reviewed study, this ocean might have lasted even when average world surface temperatures were below the freezing point of water. According to new research, a chilly, wet Mars might have maintained an ocean in the northern hemisphere 3 billion years ago. Earth and Mars may have had comparable conditions 3 billion years ago when life began to spread on our planet. However, scientists disagree on whether Mars was temperate enough to maintain an ocean of water at the time, a topic that might have had a significant impact on whether the red planet was livable enough to support life. Although Mars is currently frigid and dry, decades of evidence indicate that the ancient surface was covered with rivers, streams, ponds and lakes. Because water on the earth normally indicates the presence of life, this ancient evidence of water increases the likelihood that the red planet previously hosted life and may still do so. The Sherlock, scanning habitable environments with ramen and luminescence for organics and chemicals, Equipment has also recovered additional samples of organic substances. However, NASA has cautioned that the discovery of organic material does not necessarily imply that life once existed in the area. Curiosity also discovered organics at its landing site within the Gale Crater, Sherlock Principal Investigator Luther Beagle said. The primary objective of perseverance on Mars is astrobiology which involves the hunt for traces of ancient microbial life. The rover, which arrived on Mars in 2020, aims to better categorize the planet's geology and previous climate in order to pave the way for human exploration and be the first mission to gather and store Martian rock and regolith. Indeed, NASA's Perseverance rover mission is one of the several dispatched to Mars to evaluate the planet's viability for ancient life. NASA's Perseverance is now examining the red planet for evidence of life at some point in time on the planet. The rover discovered signs of an old river delta on our neighbor, indicating that life existed on Mars at some point in the past. Perseverance's results have now been corroborated by research. Scientists assume that the fan-shaped feature of Jezero was an ancient delta where a river drained into a lake around 3.7 billion years ago based on previous photographs captured by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. The sediments of this ancient lake may include the remains of ancient Mars bacteria, which might aid in our knowledge of life on Mars. The research, which was published on October 7th in Science, examined images taken by Perseverance that recorded Kodiak, an isolated area of the delta. Images revealed sediments that could have been accumulated only if a body of water was there for an extended period of time in the past. The latest findings in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences contradict prior studies that suggested Mars could not maintain such an ocean 3 billion years ago. On Mars, for example, there are relatively few branching river basins from that time period, implying a lack of severe and widespread rainfall anticipated for a warm and wet environment. However, not all evidence speaks to a dry world. Evidence from modern tsunami debris contradicts a Martian temperature that was too cold and dry for an ocean. 
The new study implies that a liquid northern ocean was visible because ocean circulation patterns warmed the region's surface to 40.1 degrees Fahrenheit, 4.5 degrees Celsius, much over the freezing point of water. More water was also theoretically available. The northern ocean may have received modest rainfall both within it and its shorelines. Another possible source was flowing glaciers from Mars's southern highlands, which housed ice sheets. Recent research discovers that oceans of water may remain buried in Mars's crust rather than being lost to space as previously assumed. Previous research discovered that Mars was once wet enough to cover its whole surface with an ocean of water 330 to 4920 feet or 100 to 1500 meters deep containing almost half as much water as Earth's Atlantic Ocean, according to NASA. Because there is life almost everywhere on Earth where there is water, this history of water on Mars suggests that Mars was previously home to life, and may still be. Mars, on the other hand, is currently frigid and dry. Previously, scientists believed that once Mars's protective magnetic field was removed, solar radiation and solar wind would deplete it of much of its air and water. The quantity of water remaining in Mars's atmosphere and glaciers would not only provide a worldwide layer of water 65 to 130 feet deep. However, new evidence suggests that Mars did not lose all of its water to space. Data from NASA's MAVEN, Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution mission, at the European Space Agency, Mars Express spacecraft indicated that over the span of 4.5 billion years, Mars would have lost a worldwide ocean of water only about 10 to 82 feet deep. Scientists have discovered that much of the water Mars previously had may still be concealed in the red planet's crust, locked away in the crystal formations of rocks under the Martian surface they published their findings in the journal Science on March 16th and presented their findings at the Lunar Planetary Science Conference. The researchers created a model of Mars using data from rovers on Mars and satellites circling it, as well as meteorites from the planet, to estimate how much water it started with and how much it may have lost through time. Potential processes for this loss include water escaping into space, and being chemically absorbed into minerals. An ocean-friendly Martian atmosphere would resemble the carbon dioxide-filled one we see today, but with a twist. Around 10% of the atmosphere was made up of 10% hydrogen gas, which may have been generated by volcanoes, cosmic impacts, or chemical reactions between water and rock. In today's world, hydrogen is only found in trace levels. According to one scientific research, the mixture of carbon dioxide and hydrogen in the atmosphere may have captured enough heat from the sun to keep surface temperatures warm enough for an ocean of liquid water. Analyzing hydrogen level in Mars's atmosphere and minerals is one way scientists estimate how much water Mars lost to space. Every hydrogen atom has one proton in its nucleus, but some have an additional neutron generating the isotope deuterium. Regular hydrogen escapes the gravity of a planet more easily than heavier deuterium. Researchers can determine how much ordinary hydrogen the red planet has lost through time by comparing quantities of lighter hydrogen and heavier deuterium atoms in Martian samples. Because each water molecule is composed of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, these estimates of Martian hydrogen loss indicate the amount of Martian water that has vanished as a result of solar radiation, breaking water on Mars apart into hydrogen and oxygen molecules. And although the discovery of ancient lakes on Mars challenges everything we thought we understood about the planet, we are still yet to uncover the truth about this strange red planet. Thank you, and that's all we have time for today. Please share your ideas in the comment section below. Also, if you love the video, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and until later, bye.